High above Earth in February 2025, three objects slipped into polar orbit. Russian satellites, operating not in isolation, but in concert, performing maneuvers that defied standard procedure. Defense analysts tracked their synchronized movements, deliberate positioning, and eerie coordination. On March 18th, sensors detected the inconceivable. One satellite released a single, unidentified object. It wasn't on any manifest. It wasn't consistent with scientific equipment. It wasn't even acknowledged by Moscow. In the quiet vacuum of space, 364 miles above our heads, this mysterious object of unknown purpose and undetermined capabilities drifts silently overhead, waiting to be called into action. A New Battlefront There was a time when Russia dominated the space race, while the United States scrambled to keep up. By the mid-1980s, the Soviet Union was conducting nearly twice as many satellite launches as the U.S. But those days are gone. The era of a Russian-dominated orbit has been grounded. Data from the Center for Strategic and International Studies revealed that in 2023, the United States launched an estimated total of 2,221 satellites into space, while Russia was limited to only 60. However, this gap isn't necessarily a guarantee for enduring American dominance, and many experts are in fact concerned about what type of strategy Russia could employ to counter this imbalance, especially if the nation is put in a position where it perceives it has little to lose. Despite its shrinking space program, heavily impacted by the war in Ukraine and Western sanctions, Putin hasn't stopped conducting space launches. But if Russia can't match the West in numbers, some fear these efforts are actually centered around trying to level the playing field by brute force. Over the years, a pattern of unusual Russian satellite deployments has drawn international attention. Missions shrouded in secrecy, with strange orbital movements that don't align with standard scientific purposes. Tensions climbed in 2024, when Russia sent a satellite named Cosmos 2576 into orbit from the Placet's Cosmodrome. From the start, concerns surfaced among U.S. officials. Unlike typical inspector satellites, this one was believed to be something far more troubling, a covert asset with the potential to track, shadow, or even interfere with other satellites in orbit, an object some saw as a stepping stone towards space-based weapons. Soon after, Pavel Podvig, senior researcher at the UN Institute for Disarmament Research, seemed to confirm the suspicions by revealing, quote, it appears that the satellite is deployed in the same orbital plane as a U.S. imaging satellite. While the U.S. government declined to identify the exact target of Cosmos 2576, experts suggest it could be part of the Keyhole 11 series, a family of top-secret reconnaissance satellites that serve as vital observation tools for the U.S. military, helping the nation observe troop movements, track missile launches, and surveil hostile regions to ensure the safety of the nation. Having a Russian satellite trailing that closely in its orbit is the equivalent of a foreign fighter jet shadowing an American stealth bomber. Russia, of course, has continuously denied the allegations, with its foreign ministry brushing off the concerns and claiming that Russia has no desire to send weapons up into space. Still, Podvig admits, quote, it makes the U.S. military nervous. Fearing that Russia could escalate its space military power to dangerous new levels, the U.S. and Japan joined forces in mid-2024 in an attempt to counter this menace by introducing a resolution to the United Nations Security Council that sought to prohibit all nations from deploying nuclear weapons in space. However, to American officials' dismay, Russia vetoed the resolution, seemingly confirming that getting nuclear arms up in space is exactly what Putin is aiming for. The Terrifying Trio not even a year had passed since Russia's last controversial satellite launch, when on February 14, 2025, the country once again pierced the atmosphere with a new trio of military-grade payloads launched from the grounds of Placet's Cosmodrome, the satellites Cosmos 2581, 2582, and 2583. Much like the 2024 launch, this latest deployment was a total mystery, and with no official statements or outlined objectives given by the Kremlin, Many space experts and defense analysts started to closely track the satellites in hopes of uncovering their actual intent. At first, officials observed that the Cosmos Trio had entered a near-polar orbit, positioned about 364 miles above the Earth's surface. 
Everything seems to point out that this specific path wasn't chosen by chance, as it allows for wide-reaching coverage, giving Russian satellites the ability to gradually pass over most of the planet as the Earth rotates beneath them. Despite the strategic advantage this orbit provides, the report did not immediately trigger alarm about an impending Russian space offensive. However, that sense of relative calm didn't last, as before long, external observers like astrophysicist and satellite tracker Jonathan McDowell began to highlight anomalies in the satellite's behavior, noting that the satellite seemed to be performing proximity operations. The Pentagon gave credibility to McDowell upon announcing, quote, multiple Russian satellites worked together to surround and isolate another satellite, showcasing their capacity to target hostile spacecraft in a future engagement. Though officials didn't name the satellites involved, McDowell voiced what many already suspected. Cosmos 2581, 2582, and 2583 were the ones engaging in attack and defense rehearsals for a potential space-based battle. Still, nothing made officials worry as much as what came on March 18th. Without warning, U.S. Space Force sensors picked up something unexpected. A new, unidentified object had suddenly emerged from Cosmos 2583, detaching and then beginning to drift in orbit with an unclear direction or purpose. Neither Russia nor the U.S. offered a definitive explanation, but the timing of the incident has given way to many disturbing theories. Mystery in Space Some of the less alarmist suppositions proposed that the object released by Cosmos 2583 could be part of a system designed to improve satellite inspection, enabling Russian spacecraft to get closer to other objects in orbit, potentially enhancing their ability to gather detailed intelligence and conduct more precise surveillance operations from space. However, others suggest a more aggressive purpose, that the object may be functioning as a target drone, possibly intended for live fire testing and allowing the Cosmos satellites to simulate combat scenarios, practice engagement tactics, calibrate tracking systems, or even test the use of weapons in orbit. Some reports suggest that Russia may have already started to test advanced space-based weaponry, including firing high-speed projectiles from orbiting satellites, a system that, if perfected, could give Russia the ability to deploy satellites capable of not only tracking and locking on to rival spacecraft, but also eliminating them without putting their own assets at risk. While some have floated the idea that the unidentified object released from Cosmos 2583 may be nothing more than a random satellite piece that broke off due to a malfunction, many experts remain doubtful, as a mechanical failure in space would typically send multiple fragments spinning through orbit. In this case, the object reportedly separated cleanly and remains intact. If the object in question is, as some fear, a nuclear-powered device, then the United States and its allies could face a weapon of mass destruction flying above their heads. Perhaps it's capable of erasing entire satellite constellations, either through direct detonation or by unleashing an electromagnetic pulse that disables systems across vast swaths of orbit. Regardless of how Russia strikes, the damage would be unimaginable. Stellar Collapse Even without officially placing weapons of mass destruction in orbit, Russia has already demonstrated the terrifying scope of its capabilities in a new era of warfare centered around targeting satellite communications. In 2024, alarms went off across Europe as a surge of unexplained GPS problems hit the region, grounding commercial flights and suspending aerial pads for weeks as national carriers scrambled to adapt what many now believe was a deliberate interference. Juho Sinkonen, Vice President of Flight Operations at Finnair stated, quote, Pilots are reporting cases actively, and we get more than 100 reports per month. Investigations traced the jamming signals to multiple locations within Russian territory, St. Petersburg, Kaliningrad, and Pskov. Estonia's Foreign Minister, Margus Tsakna, condemned the attack, stating that Russia was, quote, violating all international agreements. But as alarming as these disruptions are, they could be only the beginning. If Russia were to detonate a nuclear device in space, even a low-yield weapon, the effects would be felt in seconds, plunging entire regions into instantaneous digital darkness. Military forces would be blinded and unable to coordinate defense. Command structures would be at risk of collapse. And it could all happen in the opening moments of a conflict, 
giving Russia the upper hand before a single missile is launched. A path forward. With Russia now almost entirely independent from the West, the United States has limited leverage to halt the deployment of additional space-based weapons through economic pressure. However, there may still be one path forward, through diplomacy with Russia's most powerful partner, China, whose space program is second only to America's. Currently, the Wolf Amendment prohibits NASA from cooperating with China or its affiliated space agencies without prior FBI approval. As the threat of weaponized spacecraft escalates, this policy may need to be reconsidered, especially if both nations wish to prevent space from becoming the next battlefield. With tensions running high and deep-seated distrust defining the relationship between Washington and Beijing, collaboration remains doubtful.